Sometimes when you have a difficult rational function, the best approach to determining the domain is trial and error. x divided by root x minus 1. If I want to determine the zero of this function, look here in the denominator. x here equals 1. That's a vertical asymptote. We know anytime we have a 1 over here, it won't be good because what happens when you put 1 in places of x? You have 1 divided by 0 and it doesn't work out. Does this function ever cross the x-axis? Put a value of 0 in places of x. You'll have 0 divided by root of minus 1. Not good. You can't do it. How about a value less than 0? Minus 1. I'll have minus 1 divided by root minus 2. Again, not acceptable. Therefore, I'm thinking about values larger than 1. I can try 2. I'll have 2 divided by root 1, which is good. How about 3? 3 divided by root 2. Again, good. I'm clearly seeing values larger than 1, not including at work. Therefore, the domain must be x is larger than 1. And you can say 1, not including it, going up to infinity, and your domain is done.